I'm a firm believer of the Constitution of the Bill of Rights. I believe the Second Amendment is clearly spelled out that I have a right of self-protection. Senator Ed Durr recently introduced a package of bills which would lessen some gun restrictions in New Jersey, including one that would eliminate the 30-day waiting period for handgun purchases and another that would remove capacity limits for magazines. He says he understands the need to keep people safe, but he believes the laws end up punishing law-abiding citizens and not criminals. What happened in Buffalo, tragic, and it should not happen. But think about this. 10 people die. What if one of those people was a concealed carry, was a law-abiding citizen, had a right to carry? Does that person save the other nine or seven or six of them? Who knows? And, that, and that's, they didn't have a chance to save themselves because they didn't have a right to carry. One major component that would be repealed in Durr's package is the state's Extreme Risk Protective Order Act. In 2019, the order made it possible for authorities to seize firearms from people considered to be a danger to themselves or others. As of January 31st, over 800 temporary Extreme Risk Protective Orders were granted out of about 900 petitions filed, and nearly 400 firearms were surrendered. Advocates and legislative supporters say red flag laws like this could have prevented the Buffalo shooter from getting a gun. But these red flag laws aren't sitting well with everyone. I think folks sometimes are starting to push back against those thinking that they are uh, a threat against Second Amendment rights or they deny folks due process. I think it's really important people understand what those legislations are about. And that's the idea that in New Jersey, a, a family member, household member, or law enforcement can petition a court with clear evidence of imminent risk to self or other to remove someone's access to firearms. And that person can first appeal that decision. And then even if it, that is inactive, they can, again, look for it to be ended over time with evidence that they're not a risk to themselves or someone else later on. In New Jersey, some legislators are working with the governor to enact tougher control measures, including requiring gun owners to lock up their firearms and raising the minimum age to purchase shotguns and rifles. For example, in New Jersey, if you're 18, you can buy a rifle, but you have to be 21 to buy a handgun. So let's make it 21 for everything, right? If you come in from another state and you own weapons, we want you to register them here in New Jersey so that we know that you own firearms. Again, it is well past time for outrage and action. Again, it is well past time for Congress to step up and pass real nationwide gun safety legislation. And here in New Jersey, where I am proud of the stands we've made for gun safety, I call again on the legislature to pass our gun safety 3.0 package of legislation to not only make it harder for guns to fall into the wrong hands, but just as importantly to give law enforcement greater tools to protect communities. The fact that he was, he was able to wear uh, bulletproof armor and purchase camo and, and things like that, and it made me wonder, you know, how much more can we do on these things that, that can actually, this security guard shot him and it went off. Obviously with the manifesto, I think most folks looked at it and said, well, this young man's clearly troubled. Is the events obviously showed that. And besides the sympathy for the lives that were lost and the racial profiling that went with it, I think the horrific act itself spurs us to continue to try to find ways as to what we can do better. Senator Durr says he knows his bills have virtually no chance of advancing in a Democrat-controlled legislature. However, the governor's latest package of gun control bills may not have a future either, as Senate President Nick Scutari hasn't indicated whether he supports the package. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.